Bonjour, les loups. Me voilà. Speaking to you from beautiful Matauri Bay in New Zealand, in the Bay of Islands. So, my journey began on 11-11-11. It was the first day I was without a house. I had by then let go of everything that represented any attachment. I sold, donated, gifted, or simply thrown stuff away. Hmm. Quite a process with some of the stuff that I had with me all my life, like my piano. First few weeks before setting off traveling, I uh, spent in a house with number 111. And my little storage container ended up having number 11. So I began to think that I was in for quite some magic journey. I left Canterbury in the South Island of New Zealand after a few major devastating earthquakes and about 9,000 aftershocks, having worked as an NLP trauma therapist with majorly stressed people. And by then I myself was ready for a break. So I put my sons in good hands and bought a little caravan, fitted it with solar power and self-containment and uh, set off with my dog, <laughs> with the intention of just above all living in this place. So this most beautiful country, certainly worth visiting and living in. I had um, visited and lived in uh, countless places in this world. I lived in four different Asian countries for 17 years. Of course, I'm originally from Germany. And the first time I lived abroad was actually in France, in um, the south of France, in Côte de Toulouse, as au pair girl for one year. My message to you above all is thank you. My message to you is merci beaucoup. You have inspired me with your energy, your videos, and your own and your own growth, your uh, light has literally come on over the time that I've been watching your videos. And that was very inspiring. So my intention after this journey here is um, to create New Zealand's first integrative health center and develop a model that can be brought out all over the world. I saw one of your videos with a lady in Norway with a very similar idea, which I kind of thought was phenomenal. I am also in the process of writing a book about my trauma work, or better to say the metamorphosis that lies in trauma. So far I've lost all those files on my computer twice, so whatever the message is there. So what really happened on this free fall journey is uh, I came across some major, major karma things that I had to resolve. Tick that box. I overcame my fear of public speaking. I wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. And uh, actually in the meantime, love, love, love going and giving workshops. Um, currently organizing another workshop in Wellington. And I resolved at least one lifelong illness, which was an irritating recurring cough uh, that I had since I was six. I had the support and energy of your videos. Obviously, heaps of angels and guides. Some of my photos have these orbs hundreds of them on, uh, in the back there, so uh, I was obviously very lucky. I had wonderful friends, mentors, coaches who gave me spiritual and mental support through NLP, homeopathy, vitamin medicine and uh, their energy. And right now for the first time in my life I feel more at ease than ever. It's a bit like 
beautiful. I <laughs> I'm broke and I love it. Like you say in your book, I lost my job and I love it. <clears throat> so um, at this point, I wish my project were already in place so we could welcome you and be your next host country. But who knows, we will see. Maybe the scenery here is enough motivation for all of us to make something happen. Um, so au revoir, à bientôt, and uh, lots of love.